I live in Walsh Hall. It's really nice. It's it's like one of the older dorms on campus, and it's right next to the dome. So it's it's like beautiful. I really like hearing the bells in the morning when I wake up from the church or basilica. <laughs> it wakes me up, and then I go back to bed, and then I wake up to my alarm clock. I think when I'm just walking on the quad and I see all the families playing and like just like little children like running around and like just how open it is to the like community. It's just it's like a very special place. I like every time I walk like, to class, I just I love it. I'm very superstitious actually. <laughs> I have to like tie my shoes um, after like in between like every time out. I always tie both my shoes. Well, I think I don't play well if I don't do it. So like that's like I think I think I like hit a ball out and I was like, oh, I didn't tie my shoe. So like immediately after like I definitely tied my shoe. I feel like I make everyone laugh. I'm like myself. I'm kind of I would say I'm really weird but I like try to make everyone happy. Like I'd rather make people laugh than be like really serious all the time. I definitely feel like I make Deb laugh a lot, which is our head coach here. <laughs> Just because I say some weird things. Whenever like something really bad happens, if like you're in a lot of pain or like Deb's like, all right, like girls line up on the like court, we're gonna run. Um, everybody says my leg, <laughs> and it's like from like the SpongeBob. Um, every like every episode in the SpongeBob a cartoon, um, there's this like fish that whenever like something disasterful happens, he says my leg. <laughs> so whenever like something <laughs> disasterful happens to our team, we just scream my leg. <laughs> it's really funny. I say that a lot. <laughs> I was born in Hawaii, and I had braces for like eight years of my life. I have a really big mouth, and I can fit 58 grapes in it at once. It's just like a thing that I do. I don't know. I do that training table whenever there are grapes there. I have, a, like, obviously you can tell I have like a really big smile, so. Everyone gets like really worried that I'm going to choke whenever I do it. So I just like spit it out like on a, in a cup, like discreetly. I'm not very gross about it. I thought I was like, you know, like I could break like the Guinness Book of World Records for biggest mouth, but this like one guy on the internet can fit like a whole can in his mouth and I, I can't do that. I can't fit like the whole thing. Like he can like put the whole thing in his mouth and I could probably get like half of it in there, but. <laughs> so. Jenny Hauser, student, athlete, Irish.